Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Today is January 23rd and it's 4.52. Alright, I want to go to some videos and tweets. First, let's play some of these things and get them out of the way because I felt like you guys should uh, listen to it or see it. It is a fantastic idea here and bring it to the UK. Um, why not? Uh, well, I'll tell you one why not. 300 days a year of sunshine. Here in our beautiful Colorado, why don't you move here? It is a fantastic idea here and bring it to the UK. Um, why not? Uh, well, I'll tell you one why not. 300 days a year of sunshine here in our beautiful Colorado. Why don't you move here? Just so he was already been asked to move over here so that probably was in his mind since then okay let's see hrs tanya duchess of lambridge posted this he said guys guy with mike why don't you move here all right let's see what some of the comments say it was faith speaking to the old man faith destiny his good karma Okay, OMG, when was he in Colorado Spring? I used to live there. I think that's when he was doing his helicopter training or something like that. Okay, 2013, I think. That's where he got the idea to form Invictus Game after attending the Warriors Game. Okay, so I, I, I was wrong here. All those women screaming because he heard of California. <laughs> Uh, he was just waiting for the right woman. Yep, I think so too. I love more some blushing Prince Harry. Alright, let's go to the next video. This is this one. Meghan Markle is the cutest, funniest, best royal. I'm sorry if there's music, I'm gonna mute it, but at least you could look at the video. Yeah. 
It's only nine seconds, so that was this. That was it. All right, let's go to the next tweet. There's this one. It's about 45 seconds. She went to work. Look at the clues. All right, let's see the comments. Okay, I love my African peeps. Yes, Tanti. Okay, OMG, love it. Uh, Benicta, is this you? Why you left your good sis behind? Uh, you for call me, mama. You look good. <laughs> sis John and the celebration. Cash, madam. Hell to you. OMG. People are just laughing. That is brilliant. Our aunties don't play. <laughs> yes. Okay. What does that one say? One thing about us African, we will make anything into fashion statement. <laughs> that is true. Let's see this one. The the one thing I really want to bring you is an article about uh, Harry. I think it's, uh, let's see, is this one from Fast Company. So this one I'm going to do before the prayer, okay? The prayer will be last. Okay, this tweet hit a little different now that it says Vice President Kamala Harris. Let's see this one. That's Myra. Okay, that's from Vice President Kamala Harris. Okay, the only wrong thing to say is to say nothing, end quote. Thank you, Megan, for this powerful statement. Okay, so she retweeted this um, of Megan. And there's Megan drinking her champagne. All right, 11 comment. There's another video I want to bring to you, but I want to get these out of the way. Okay, delicious. I love to see it. Okay, VP Kamala throwing a shade. Oh, some people be mad. <laughs> Hehe. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to see the hysteria from the UK mega crowd so I can laugh. Okay, I know. Wait, when was this tweet? Okay, I think it was recently because if it says Cam uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, it has to be within those two days after um, her uh, oath of office. Okay, I love this so much. Okay, let's see. What other tweets? All right, let's get, let's see this one from HRH Tanya Duchess of Lambridge again another tweet from her okay there's no comment uh, let's see what she says I keep thinking how proud I felt when Megan spoke out and up about Black Lives Matter when history looked back at leaders who led she will she will represent how the Sussex's brand of royal remain relevant only posted part that stood out for me all right this is what stood out for her oops I think I went to the wrong one she started with the picture all right with this Second one. Okay, Immaculate High High School graduating class 2020. For the past couple of weeks, I've been planning to sing a few words to you for your graduation. And as we all have seen over the past few weeks, what is happening in our country and our state and in our hometown of LA has been absolutely devastating. And I wasn't sure what I could say to you. I wanted to say the right thing and I was really nervous. I was really nervous that I wouldn't or that it would get picked apart. Okay, this is another, I think that was the first time she started saying that the words, whatever she says, start being pulled apart. And she said another later one in the summer at another Zoom meeting and this time Harry was with her. Okay, and I realized the only one thing to say is to say nothing because George Floyd's life mattered and Brianna Taylor's life mattered and Philando uh, Castile's life mattered and Tamir Rice's life mattered and so did so many other people whose names we know and whose name we don't know. Stephen Clark, his life mattered. Okay, you are equipped, you are ready, and we need you, and you are prepared. I am so proud to call each of you a fellow alumni, and I am so eager to see what you're going to do. Please know that I am cheering you on. <clears throat> I am cheering you on all along the way. I am exceptionally proud of you, and I am wishing you a huge congratulation on today, the start of all the imp impact you're going to make in the world as the leaders that we all so deeply crave. Okay, I know that uh, this is not the graduation that you envision, and this is not the celebration that I you imagine. But I also know that okay, there's a way to reframe this for you and not see this as the end of something, but instead to see this as the beginning 
of you uh, harnessing all the work, all the values, all the skills you have embodied over the last four years, and now you channel that. Okay? Now all of that work get ac activated. Now you get to be part of rebuild. And I know sometimes sometimes people say, how many times do we need to rebuild? Well, you know we are going to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild until it is built. Because when the foundation is broken, so are we. Yep, and she said that on top of her head. That's the f <laughs> that's the amazing thing about her. Because I believe she had wrote something prior to all of this, be uh, before Joy Floyd thing um, happened. But the mood of the country changed. So at that time, when it's time to show the thing for the graduation, that mood no longer felt right to say what she had already prepared. So instead she creates something this and uh, it's like right on point. All right, let's see. I saw this one finally. Like see, the, the, her her clever blend came. Okay, Benedicta where? Okay, so this came. Finally, it's so good. It is my teenagers uh, and uh, footing heaven. Okay, I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> uh, deliver delivery has been late for we Texans discrimination. We have to secede from the union. She's laughing. That was a joke. Let me know. Says how it tastes. I'm not a latte type of chicks, but I want to try it. Okay, it tastes really good. I used to, I use hot water for mine and loved it. My girls use almond milk to make theirs. It's delicious both ways. Okay, all right. So people are giving praise reviews for it. Okay, what else? All right. So I'm up. up this one. Okay, as he should because he is only relevant while we recognize in this house. Let's see here. British Royal Family Trending, Prince Harry. Okay. Alright, let's see. Okay, prayer is gonna come later. He's got to go, got to go. Okay, I don't know who it's talking about. Um, this is gonna be the last one. Alright, so this one is kind of funny, but I'm gonna mute it because I heard there was a music behind it. You could watch the video while I talk, okay? My mom just sent me this from Facebook and said this is why she remains single because all men like this approach her. I'm on the floor. <laughs> I think the music is, uh, what's, oh, it's like one of the 80s, like I wanna love you or something like that. I think that's the music. Oh my lord, look at his face, look at his face. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Let me go in the comment. Okay, Papa, stop. Oh, Papa, stop that and go drink your prune juice. <laughs> Go drink your prune juice. Now, sis, don't tell me you can't resist his hair, his clothes, and his moves. <laughs> That's the GIF. <laughs> oh, who can resist this stud? Okay. <laughs> what in the all that is holy is this? <laughs> People just laughing. All right, what else? I didn't touch yet. Okay. Okay, my last one. Joe, look behind you. Barack, no, Joe. Joe, come on. He's <laughs> he's right behind you. That's Bernie. And there's... Uh, is that Martin Luther King? It seems like. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> oh, this is the best one I've seen yet. This is the best one. This is yeah, kind of like this one. Wow, this is the best one I've seen. Wow, that's a very good uh, Photoshop here. Very good. I like that one. Okay, my new fave. There he is. So there's one um, I saw. It's in one of my last videos. They didn't cut the chair out. They put it next to Megan, but away. So they could have uh, cut the chair out and do something like this. This is a good, uh, my new fave. Leonard, he's in my spot. Okay. I love it. Don't let me get started. LOL. All right. What else here? Okay, this one I'm gonna do last. Okay, who cares about Meg Megan McCain? Let's look at Megan Marco call picture. Okay, let's see. 
man, she looked like a doll here. Wow. That's the first time I'm seeing this one with the hat in the car. There's her serious face before she step out. I mean, they probably were driving and then somebody snapped that picture, but look at her, she's serious here. Thinking what's her head, in my humble opinion. I don't know why, I love this hat. I love this hat. And there she is. <laughs> look at the <laughs> Harry, he's like, oh, let's get this over with. And Megan, as usual, put her game face on. All right, there's three comments. Okay, it's the top left one for me. She was stunning. What did Megan McCain do now? <laughs> she just looks so beautiful in that uh, that picture. I had no clue what Megan did, but I saw she was trending. Okay, lovely. The top right on the <laughs> exquisite, just stunning. No wonder the Windsor women hate her. Smarter, prettier, more talented, more charismatic. Okay, I'm not even gonna go on that. It's like ridiculous. All right, this is part of the Fast Company article, but let me read this, all right? And this is why we all respect and support him, not because of his royal blood or status, but because he is an honorable man who uses his platform for good. Prince Harry, just Harry. All right, this is what he said. Okay, there can be disagreement, conversation, uh, opposing point of view, as there should be, but never to the extent that violence is created. Truth is man is, uh, mystified, and lives are jeopardized. Prince Harry. I didn't know he said that. Okay, preach. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see here. What is that? The number of new accounts commenting positively about Harry's interview should be reason enough to stop looking to some low down dirty royal voter and commentators for acceptance, validation or whatever it is you seek from them. All right, so that again that's still about the Fast Company article I believe. Okay, I'm not perfect as I have commented okay if something comes up on my timeline however i believe we should really try totally black out on british press with regard to harry and megan whatever they write or just uh, or say just ignore it can we start with 30 days or even 10 days if you guys don't post it i don't even bother following them so i'm good my plan going forward is trying to access original source, be it White House press briefing, now CJ on board, or the actual interview, time to cut out the middle span. Yep, it's true. Okay, was thinking the same thing. They will always be incandescent with rage, okay, and we should let them be and move on also because Harry will not stop expressing his opinions anyway. Okay, couldn't agree more with you. More people outside this scoop are becoming woke. They are understanding the Sussexes more as time go by. Whereas it, they'll start calling them out even louder. I stopped reading World Voter stuff since Mexit. Yep. So, okay. Did I do this? Yes, I did. That was the first one. Okay. This prayer is going to be at the end. So, I'm going to cut it and then put it at the end. Okay. So, that was four hours, old, four hours ago from World Pink. Pink Girl. Okay. At prayer in, uh, novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus Day 2240. Dear Jesus, you are the source of all compassion and consolidation. Please comfort Megan and Harry from the pain of betrayal by the people who were supposed to protect them. Bless and protect Megan, Harry, Archie, Dovia, and the Sussex Squad. Okay, Lord, teach us to always care. Others, amen. And also, since she mentioned about betrayal, and I have to add this, and for the uh, people who we elected in the U.S., okay, who's supposed to lead us and protect us, and they have betrayed us. That also another thing, too. All right. There's some tweet that I come across. I don't know if I should share it, but um, it's just ridiculous. Do I have it here? Let's see here. Let me, to show you what I was saying or what I was looking for. Before I read the prayer. Where is it? I saw it. Did I bookmark it? I thought I bookmarked it. Uh, 
Okay, never mind. But if I see it, I'll answer it here anyway. All right, let's do the prayer, but it will be at the end. Okay, a prayer novena to the sacred. Okay, I read that already. Let's see here. Happy Saturday. Sometimes we focus so much on what we don't have that uh, we don't have that we fail to see. Appreciate and use what we do have. Okay, make the most of what you have today. Yep. There's Megan and Harry. Okay, be a kind human. True compassion means not only feeling others' pain, but also being moved to help relieve it. Daniel Goldman. All right, so that's that. Let's see what the scribe said. Lord, please teach us to always care for others. Amen, 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 amen. All right, let's see this video. Okay. the season's hottest trends and Meghan Markle Megan. is back. She plays the always fashionable Rachel Zane on USA's hit series Suits, but she's multi-talented. She also runs her own fashion and lifestyle website called The Tig. Megan, good morning. Good, good to see morning. you. Good to see you too. We've got four great trends yes. and we're going to show how the celebrities wear them and then how the rest of us can wear Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And they're all pretty easy to pepper into your wardrobe, so it should be fun. Okay, so the first one is matching print tops and bottoms. We've seen this on Taylor Swift, Michelle Obama, Carrie Washington. What's the key to wearing the trend? Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. And it's actually really doable, right? So you want to look at matching prints, and they can be subtle. So you can see as you here, has the vertical print on the bottom, horizontal up top. And then you keep it really edgy, fresh, and modern with like a nice structured sandal. But it's simple to pepper in. And then a little sliver of skin. I don't know. If you want to do it, you can certainly uh, dare to bear just a touch. Well, yeah, name looks great. You don't have to have the crop top to do this look, You though. definitely don't have to. Now, everyone from Gap to Chanel is doing this sort of look, and she pulls it off so well. But you don't have to. You can just have one fluid silhouette with the matching pieces, and I think you'll look really on trend. They're not matchy-matchy, though. They complement each other, but exactly. the horizontal versus vertical, is that the key? Yes, and so it's subtle, right? And it's an easy way to keep it looking really on trend and comfortable, too, right? Yeah. I think we can all put something in our wardrobe like that and, and look great at any summer barbecue. Yes, yeah. yeah, it looks beautiful. Yay. Thank you. Our next trend is white on white. Let's bring our model out. This is Heidi. We've seen this on Julianne Hough, Lupita yep. Nyong'o, Kim Kardashian West, head to toe white. It's so crisp for summer. I love it. It's just effortlessly chic. And the way to do this, really, is you want to play with little subtle accents, right? You can see she has a great crisp white button down and then adds texture with the skirt that has a sort of see-through element and a pop of color with her clutch, simple gold bangles. I love this look. It's and the round sunglasses, is that the new shape we're supposed to be wearing? It is <laughs> such a shape. It is the most on-trend thing. And they're like easy and cool and also sort of a nod to the 75, which we'll see in one of the other looks coming up. I love it. Heidi, thank you so much. Our next trend is gingham. Now, all summer long, we see the guys in this here around the Today Show, but ladies <laughs> love it too. Reese Witherspoon, Dakota Johnson, yes. Victoria Justice, and now our model Katie. Well, so that's the thing. I mean, you would see gingham in menswear for as long as... All right, let's see two of two. This, I'm doing it only for the uh, squad fashionistas, okay? There's the next one. And in the fall was such a trend. Yeah. So this is going to be your summer flag, so to speak. It's easy. You can wear it as a skirt or a dress, as she's doing. But you can also just have a great button-down tucked into a pencil skirt or some some shorts, and you're perfect for summer. It's, um, it is not Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. No. It is much shaker these days. It definitely is, Peyton. Thank you so much. And finally, the 70s inspired kind of the boho chic idea. Yeah. Tell me about this. Okay, so this is great. Kirby is wearing this amazing sort of tribal maxi print dress. And I think, I mean, you can see she looks fantastic and so comfortable, too. So when I saw you guys the last time, we talked about in the fashion week, 70s are back. Anything with the fringe bag, the Birkenstocks, comfortable and very on trend, which is great for us ladies. Um, and she looks just awesome and easy. She does. Let's have all our models come out, run uh, one more time. Let's Yay. bring them all out. We've got the gingham, the white on white. We've got the matching outfits, but not too matchy, matchy. Not too matchy, matchy. Just enough. Looks yeah. beautiful. And Thank you, guys. Very summery. Megan Markle, we can catch you on Suits. You guys premiere, what, Wednesday night? This Wednesday night. Season 5 is premiering, so we hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. Okay, Season 5. So you guys could have an idea when this was um, air. All right, let's see this one. All right, let's see. Nice How's it going? Oh, thank you. Can I get one too? Yeah, of course. What's your name? Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Oh, yay. Thank you for watching.
watching. Hi there. Hi, Megan. I'm Gerard. Hi, Gerard. Hey, how's it going? As well, thank you. Good. All right. It's going to be fun today. It's going to be fun. I looked at the looks. Everyone looks very cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. Like, like I said, I tried today. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll make sure back up like I really tried. What's that? Oh, thank you so much what for watching. Today? You got a fashion one or something? Oh, uh, no, we're talking about fashion trends and my website, The Tig, so it'll be fun. And some spoilers for suits, maybe. Oh, great. Okay. Cool. Have a good day. Thank All right, good looking for that. Yeah, she took the time to talk to everybody. Hey, nice to meet you. I've seen this spot and many. I think I've even featured this spot only in some of my videos, but not the part until she get into the house um the building okay so nice there's nothing megan can do listen to her sense of fashion in this video she was really suffocated on under the monarchy yep and then you see how she's taking time to talk to each and everybody else okay and i think she was worrying about either her case your suitcase or something she was looking back let me show you like right here there's something she was waiting for Something. Like I said, I tried to yeah. Yeah. She's oh, looking back. back. What's that? Yeah. Um. Alright, so that's that. Wanted to share it with you since some of the squad posted it. Alright, that probably will make your day. Alright, let's see this one. They add this up. Okay. <laughs> My wife just put something, two or three words. Now this one is four words and she just go at it. Alright. Uh, eight. OMG, a jack, I need an uh, edit button. Okay, eight. What is it? They ate this up. Okay, that's this one. Okay. And said they are this up, but she meant to say they ate this up. Okay, OMG, I need an uh, edit button. Okay, and left no crumbs. Okay, they never miss. Ashley Biden has her vibe. I, I don't know. Flawless. All right, what else do I have before I go to the post? Okay, here. Yeah. Mina Harris is my favorite Harris. Okay, can we just call her Queen Megan or even President? Okay, I love her, but Camilla's, but there's Camilla. All right, this is from uh, News Yahoo. Joe Biden, new running mate, Kamala Harris is a huge fan of Meghan Markle. Okay, Kamala Harris has, provi uh, has previously voiced support for the Duchess of Sussex. Okay, so that's that. I'm not going to go on the article. Okay, how did I post? What did how did I say? Okay, did you spot the photo of Prince Harry? So they're talking about it here. There were two royal moments you might have missed at Biden's inauguration. Did you spot the photo of Prince Harry? Okay, I responded. Why come I keep on forgetting when I respond to stuff? Okay, when was the last time a British royal was invited for swearing and ceremony? George Washington's LOL, good one. Well, at least this time, they acknowledge one who fought alongside with them. Okay, I forget I said that. It was so cool to see a picture of Prince Harry. Honestly, who gave a toss if Harry was there? Really, now be honest. All right, there's one comment. For starters, the people who commented on the news, including you. <laughs> I wonder if Andrew was at Maxwell Bell hearing. Okay, no. Uh, no, he was with Trump. <laughs> nice to see real human emotion on their faces. Too bad for you, UK, for chasing out the Sussexes. He's our prince now. We love Harry and Meghan. Okay, how's your post? There's the Fast Company again. I have bookmark. Okay, what is this one here? L laughing my ass off. I can't believe this is how Harry looked in 2011. <laughs> he just threw something in. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, actually more than his outfit, I mean his baby face. Okay, our good sister Princess Megan upgraded him. <laughs> Harry 2017. Let's see this pic. But that's different things. This is formal. But here, he was just hanging out. <laughs> but look at this, though. <laughs> the suit. Okay, the top is okay, but the bottom didn't match. Okay, but he was going to hang out. Okay, so ratchet. Please, he's a child. Right? We all have our fashion fails. Okay. <laughs> Let me hold my mouth because this is not it. Okay. All right, next one, Megan Gold Standard. What is this one? Okay, real queen shit. The Golden Standard. She's the Michelle to the Mila Melania's in the palace. Okay, what is this? The Temple of Wells. 
of all names. Okay, what did she say? I stand the Duchess of Sussex. Imagine entering centuries-old institution, and, and under two years, you've become the standard both male and female royal model on queen shit. <laughs> okay, let's see this. <laughs> I like the way she look at it. Like, say that again? You fool. Say that again. I'm just saying. There's the face, okay? <laughs> look at Harry looking at them. My wife got this. My wife got this. <laughs> ah, the face expression is okay. Ah, okay, let's see. What else do I have? Remember, I want to go to the article. Now Alexa can do energy estimates for all my lights and devices. Your parent can use this to find out okay which of your kids is living on their light and b running up your bills let's see here so alexa can do this okay and who's staying up uh, past bedtime okay lol i i read this is this i very loudly remind my teen that as long as the only child he's the one running up my bills boy had light on the hallway and spare room just because okay actually it's funny this has come up my husband was saying since uh he received some, uh, like a email, is it an email or text message from our company saying that, uh, what is it, our bills have uh, went up compared to people in our neighborhood. But we have, what is it, two kids who's doing um, homeschooling, so the computer's on all day. Oh, and my husband worked from home, the computer up all day. And me, either I'm getting up early to do some of my things. So he told me our energy is running up. All right, so that's that. Okay, I think I'm up. Let me see. I'm just surprised I didn't see the thing that I was, I wanted to share. Okay, this is seven minutes ago. All right, let's see here. Okay, it's really graded me uh, at how quickly that was overlooked. Okay, what is she talking about here? What is this? Okay, I refuse to let it be swept under the rug that an editor for the Daily Mail testify that a senior member of the royal household providing them with confidential info on Meghan Markle. This again raising the question of ethic not only in the UK media but the royal family itself. Okay? Speak on it, Michelle. Nobody is talking about it outside the squad and I'm pissed. Well, okay, one of the things that I said um, before the inauguration and during the inauguration because these two days monday and tuesday is it tuesday and wednesday anything leading up to uh, inauguration so inauguration took precedent over everything and i believe this is why they schedule that hearing on those two days okay to like put it under the rug so nobody talk about it so now that inauguration is done okay Today, Saturday, this is the time where we should be talking about it. We need to start talking more about it. All right, nobody's talking about it outside the squad, and I'm pissed. Okay, it's really graded me uh, at how quickly that was overlooked. Okay, like I said, people was focusing on um, the inauguration. You could look at some of my videos on that particular subject. Okay, a couple of days ago. Okay, it really good. Okay, that's the same thing here. Why is it Prince Harry is really going for it? Of course, we have the same old gammon out today wanting his head on a spike, but that's because of the misinformation for the media causing this attitude. The media needs to accountable for their action. So it's almost the same thing here with what me is talking about here. Let's see what some people are saying. Okay, they hate Prince Harry for being a decent human being. Imagine what kind of a soul one must possess to feel justified and not only taking that stance publicly but announcing it to the world on a daily basis. <laughs> well, if the worst thing turned fit. Okay. Is that the guy that was saying flower for Megan to the queen? That looks like him. But the camera was behind his head so I can see his face. Maybe I could see a profile of him. Okay, this is big. A little to none UK tabloid are reporting on this. A reporter at the Daily Mail admitted, okay, that's the same thing I just read, that the senior member of the royal household leaked information about Megan to them. Okay? Okay, not just the tabloid, but the mainstream media on newspapers won't report either. At least I have not seen it. Okay, so we need to keep talking about it, and then you'll see how it pick up. 
Cape Prince hair is trending. Okay, it's a good time to remind you that early in the week, the editor of the Daily Mail admitted in court that a senior member of the royal household has been working with them and providing leaking info about Meghan Markle. Remind you of anyone else? <laughs> wow, Princess Diana. And there it is, there's Megan, same thing. We just need to keep on praying. Speak on it, Michelle. Okay, I refuse to let it swap. Okay, that's the same thing again. All right. Okay, this one was kind of funny when I saw it. That Jenna Kelly. She said, uh, 12 hour, click on the Megan trending tapping, hoping it was something fun about Megan Marco. And instead, it's just all about Megan McCain being the worst yet again. <laughs> look how she put the, Look at that, the GIF. <laughs> she was hoping for something about Meghan Markle, but it's Meghan McCain. Same here. We are not the only one, though. And I did find fun things about Meghan Markle. The only Meghan we acknowledge is Meghan Markle. Okay, let's show the thread. What else did she put here? Meghan the Stallion is a queen, and we love her. She ain't got an H in her first name, so she's excluded from this exclusion. <laughs> And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> what is that? I love you, LOL. Period. Okay, he approved. Okay, what about Megan without the H? I suspect I missed so uh, something, so I'm off on to Google. Okay, <laughs> she's gonna ask Google what's going on with Megan. Okay, Karen's gonna be mad as hell. Okay, 15 seconds. I'm going to mute the music, but the music pretty much just repeating who's mad, exactly what is written on the neck. <laughs> oh, period, period. Absolutely, we recognize a queen when we see one. Okay, the queen and waiting. <sighs> the only queen and waiting. Okay, she could have it testified. Okay, and that's on period. Okay. She had the whole entire gospel show at her wedding, and her mama was alone, I stand. Look like she's praying. Okay. Uh, it's too much to go through. All right, let's see. All right, should I go on this now? Okay, let's see notification. Kerry Washington, uh, Kerry tweeted. Okay, it's official. Joe Biden is the president of the United States. First order of business demand that he keeps big tech loyal lists and lobbyists out of his cabinet. We have four years to run and monopoly destroying our democracy. The future depends on it. All right. How, why am I seeing this now? Okay. She retweeted that since Jan maybe she just retweeted. Okay. All right. Okay. What is that? Prince Harry is really going for it. Of course, we have the same. Okay. I read that already. All right. Let's go to the fast company. Okay. This one, Prince Harry point out that a Rupert Murdoch newspaper printed lies about him and Meghan. He then named the paper, he named the main, the man behind the message at Rupert Murdoch. All right, let's see here, Fast Company. Let's go on it. I'll put the link in the description. All right. Time is running out. Prince Harry called for social media reform after U.S. Capitol riot. In a Q&A with Fast Company, the Duke of Sussex responded to social media role in the Capitol attack and explained why the next step must be uh, to hold social platform accountable. Uh, all right. Over the past year, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have become increasingly outspoken advocates for healthier social media, a topic that is clearly near to his uh, to their hearts, given the horrendous virtual and harassment they have faced online and in the press. All right, I can't read this. Okay, by partnering with organization. Okay, I think by partnering with organization. Okay, that aim to understand technology impact on social and society and vocally critiquing the state of online life and the media. The couple are using their cloud to push for change in the current digital 
ecosystem and an essay for Fast Company last August, Prince Harry called on business leaders to rethink their role in funding the ad, uh, advertising system that underline the misinformation and divisive rhetoric that often share on social platforms. This remodeling must include industrial leaders from all areas drawing a line in the sand against uh, unacceptable online practices as well as being active participant in the process of establishing new standards for our online world, he wrote. And that was a quote. Now social media is facing an inflection point just weeks after a violent mob stormed the Capitol and an attack that was conceived, plotting, and stoked primarily online. Powerful platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube responded by suspending Donald Trump's account, while Amazon and Apple cut ties with Parler, a social network that was used by the rioters. But experts and re regulators believe that more must be done to reform social media. Against this background, Prince Harry is once again employing people to pay attention to the problem social media have worth. In a wide-ranging interview with Fast Company, he explained why social platforms must be held accountable for capital attack and the circumstances that enable it, and why we must remodel the digital world before it's too late. Okay, Fast Company, six months ago you would, this is the Q&A here. Six months ago, you wrote an essay for Fast Company in which you asked companies to take action to ensure the meaningful reform of our quote unchecked and divisive attention economy. Okay, end quote. How has your perspective on social media role in society changed over the last few weeks since the attack on the Capitol? Okay, Prince Harry, when I wrote that piece, I was sharing my view that dominant online platforms okay, have contributed to a stock the condition for a crisis of hate, a crisis of health, and a crisis of truth. And I stand by that, along with millions of others who see and feel what this error has done at every level. We are losing loved ones to conspiracy theories, losing a sense of self because of the barrage of mistruths, okay? and at the larger scale, losing our democracies. Okay, the magnitude of this cannot be overstated, as noted even by the de facto who helped build this platform. It takes courage to stand up, cite where things have gone wrong, and offer proposals and solutions. The need for that is greater than ever before. So I'm encouraging by uh, and grateful for the groundswell of people who work or have worked inside this very platform choosing to speak up against hate, violence, division, and confusion. Fast Company now asking the question, why is this topic so important to you? Okay, how was your outlook affected by the well-documented online harassment you and your wife have faced in the UK? Prince Harry, okay, I was really surprised to witness how my story had been told on uh, one way, my wife's story had been told one way, and then our union sparked something that made the telling of that story very different. That false narrative became the mothership for all the harassment you're referring to. I won't have even begun had our story just been told truthfully. But the important thing about what we experienced is that it led us to hearing, hearing from so many others around the world. Okay, we've thought a lot about those in much more vulnerable position than us. Wow, he's not even thinking about himself. He's thinking more about the people. And this is why, okay, I'm just uh, sidetracked here. This is why I keep on saying, like, the thing that Megan is doing um, with the Melon Line, uh, Melon Sunday, okay, it's not about her anymore. I don't think she care anymore. As for me, at least, I've said so many times, I think she won the case. So now I think she's setting an example for others. Okay, if she won the case, that way you, me, and anybody else, our uh, mail could stay private. Okay, so no one have to intercept it. That's the way I see this, okay? All right, back to the article. And how much of a need there is for real empathy and support. To their own degree, everyone has been deeply affected by the current consequences of the digital space. It could be... a uh, it could be as individual as seeing a loved one go down the path of radicalization or as a collective as seeing the signs behind the climate crisis denied. Okay? We are all vulnerable to it, which is why I don't see it as a tech issue 
or a pol political issue. It's a humanitarian issue. Uh, from an early age, the guiding principle in my life has been about the duty to truth, the pursuit of compassion, and the alleviation of suffering. My life has always been about trying to do my part to help those who need it most. And right now, yeah, we've seen his work. So he's telling the truth. He's not just putting word, uh, you know, on paper or just responding. We we've seen his work. Okay, and right now we need this change because it touch. It touches nearly every single thing we do or are exposed to. Okay, Fast Company, where do we go from here? What do you think needs to change to create an online atmosphere where truth, equity, and free speech are all prioritized? Prince Harry, okay, I ask the same thing every day and lean on the expert to help guide, to help give guidance on how to reform the state of our digital world, how we make it better for our kids, of course, but also for ourselves now. Okay, he's thinking of the future. He's thinking of the future. While I'm at it, I'm trying to make things right. I'm looking more for the future. This is why I keep on saying the now don't stay forever. You have to think of the future, how people are gonna see you, and what legacy you're gonna leave behind. That's how I see this part here. The avalanche of misinformation we are all uh, inundated with is bending reality and has created this distorted filter that affects our ability to think clearly or even understand the world around us. What happened online does not stay online. It spread everywhere, like wildfire, and to our home and workplaces, and to the street, and to our mind. The question really becomes about what to do when news and information sharing is no longer a decent truthful exchange, but rather an exchange of weaponry. <laughs> yep. Uh, the answer I've heard from experts in this space is that the common denominator start with accountability. Okay? There has to be accountability to collective well-being not just financial incentive okay it's almost like when you call somebody to court okay let's say somebody lose a case or something like that okay you just pay them and then they move on with their life and they go back to the same thing in other words there has to be some sort of a punishment even though they have to pay up okay either some jail time or something okay it's hard for me to understand how the platform themselves can eagerly take profit but shun responsibility yep Money is not everything. That's what I see here. Okay, there also has to be common share accountability. We can call for digital reform and debate how that happens and what it looks like, but it's also on each of us to take a more critical eye on our own relationship with technology and media. Okay, what I'm seeing here, when you need to turn off, turn off. Okay, and I think I'm starting to turn off on some politics too, even though I had said, look, I'm going to... After 2020, the, um, what is it? After the Biden inauguration, I'll start looking into more politics. And I probably will share more. And as I'm seeing some stuff, some of the people that are arresting, judges are letting them go. Okay? So that pisses me off here. All right? So I'm turning off because I'm not happy seeing this is happening. All right? To start, okay, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Consider setting limits on the time you spend on social media. Stop yourself from endless scrolling. Fact check the source and research the information you see and commit to take a more compassionate approach and tone when you post or comment. Okay, these might seem like a little thing, but they all add up. As you can see sometimes when I'm doing my videos, when someone mentions something on Twitter, I go and Google it to see if what they say is true. So this is what I'm getting here. Okay, finally, there's a responsibility to compassion that we, we each own. Human crave connection, okay, social bond, and sense of belonging. When we don't have those, we end up fractured in a digital age, okay, that can unfortunately be a catalyst for finding connection and mass extremism movement radicalization. We need to take better care of each other, especially in this time, isolation and vulnerability. All right, it looks like this goes on and on. That's a long thread, okay? So I am going to put this and the, the link in the description and hope you guys take a moment to read it. We have to do more than simply recognize this model. These stakes are too high and time is running out. All right, so the link will be in the description. I didn't finish with all of it, but there's more. It's a Q&A kind of interview. All right, I feel like, let's go to Google. 
I know I read a prayer before, but um, it seems like a little too short. Prayer for, um, let's say something to do the right thing, okay? For people to do the right thing. Thing. let's see what come up I don't know I just post this like that during the right thing prayer okay let's go to image see what Google has to do the right thing all right let me go with this because I see this guy person is opening his arm soul of Christ make me holy body of Christ save me blood of Christ fill me with love water from Christ side wash me passion of Christ strengthen me good Jesus hear me within your wound hide me never let me be, uh, be parted from you amen okay I see this one at the bottom this sounds good okay dear God I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired okay I reach forward today touch the hem of your garment and receive my healing yes i want to get well give me the faith to walk in freedom and victory in jesus name amen yeah i'm sick and tired of seeing all those um, people who's doing the wrong thing but yet they keep on getting away all right i'm seeing another one here i see the thing here with the <laughs> judging thing here maybe this one you can come in and decree god will to happen and it will speak the word over your situation all right so that was that all right i'm gonna stop okay i'm seeing so many wow i'm telling you google knows okay the lord is my strength and my song he has become my salvation he is my god and i will praise him my father god okay exodus 15 too. so i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna start editing and uh, please take a moment to subscribe like and share um, I think Google is playing me and uh, some people have been not getting notification. So please check your notification and see if you still subscribe. Thanks for watching.